Oh yeah, it's double organic. For cyclists, cycling in the rain, getting a wet butt is the worst. Nothing is worse than arriving to your destination and having a big wet spot on your butt and having to explain to people that you didn't have an accident. <laughs> but these pants that I uh, have purchased from the Mountain Equipment Co-op keep my tushy dry. So these are uh, shell pants and shell pants are going to keep you dry. They are a little bit more expensive. You, you need to invest in them. These pants were $130, but they keep you dry, completely dry. You don't have any wet butt or, or any uh, wetness on the knees. The knees always get very wet because the knees are rubbing on the material and would normally draw water through water resistant type materials but these pants they keep you dry completely dry so as long as uh, you're getting a pair of pants that's probably similar in price and design they should be very good at keeping you dry so we have some reflective marks on the side. We have a zipper on the side, which uh, is on, it's on the top and the bottom. So if you need to take your pants off, but you want to keep your shoes on, you can open it up and, and uh, take them off while you still have the shoes on. Or if it's warmer out, you can unzip at the top zipper and have a little bit of uh, the leg open when it's warmer out to, to prevent overheating. Also, after you arrive to your destination, if you're going to be keeping the pants on, you can unzip a bit, let, let some of the, uh, the hot air, the sweat out. So what I like about these pants is at the ankle, we have uh, some extra durable material so this is where uh, you might have some rubbing against the chain or something like that and also more of the water from the road is going to be hitting this area so it is even more waterproof and will keep you dry now I ride in the winter daily and I wear these pants in the winter. They are wind resistant and most of the time I'm just wearing shorts underneath and that keeps me warm enough even minus uh, five, six, somewhere around there. Once it get, starts getting a bit colder then I wear shorts with uh, some little leggings that go up to the knee to keep me a bit warmer and then if it's really cold out I'll just wear full-on long johns underneath these pants so based on the the amount of clothing you wear underneath you can uh, tailor it to your needs based on the temperature outside now because I ride with these every day in the winter they do take a beating it started to uh, wear a little bit and uh, this is actually my second pair of pants and uh, I've had them for about a year the the previous pair of pants and uh, I did wear a little bit of a hole through them and uh, I don't wear them when it's super wet out I just wear them if it's not uh, not wet but I'm, I'm wearing them for uh, when it's cold otherwise I, I do get a bit of a, a wet spot on my butt if it's really wet out and uh, I just put some uh, some tape on it uh, and kind of make a little bit of a repair job so that that is a downfall of the pants that uh, if you're cycling a lot they do wear through it would be nice to see this material here 
put on the uh, put on the butt where uh, we're having all of this wearing uh, occurring, you know, when you're when you're pedaling. So these pants are pretty good. They keep you dry, but I would like to see some more durability out of them. And uh, I'm always on the lookout for, for a better pair of pants for sure. But these, for now, do the job. So stay dry, get a pair of shell pants, and keep your butt dry. Another thing to mention when riding in the rain is fenders. I personally do not use fenders. Uh, what I do have here for, for the back is a, a bag which goes on to my seat post and it'll block some water so that can go on. You can see that there's a plastic piece here that's where all the dirt gets splashed onto from the uh, tire and so that's uh, something I use but I just uh, I don't really feel the need for the uh, for fenders with all of my uh, other waterproof stuff.